Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be talking about my must-have pregnancy products, things I've been trying, testing, using, loving, living by, all of the above. Now, I definitely know that there's more things that I'm starting to feel like my body needs now that I don't have yet, but I'm gonna have to order. So this is just up until now, things that I have been loving and have been working for me. All right, so the first thing we're gonna get into is skincare. I first off wanna say thank you to True Botanicals for sponsoring this part of the video. When you're pregnant, the first thing you think about, well, the first thing I thought about was like, what skincare can I use now? Because there's a lot of ingredients that are not safe for you to use during your pregnancy. When I found out I was pregnant, they actually sent me a package with their pregnancy little bundle kit that had only pregnancy safe items, which made it very easy for me to use. And I've been loving it and it's been working really well for my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys a few products from here. This is a mask that I've been using from True Botanicals. This is their Moisture Lock Overnight Mask. The one thing that I have focused on through my pregnancy is hydration. Hydration, 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 hydration. Everything got a little bit drier for me. You have to drink so much more water. Your lips get more chapped. My skin was getting a little bit more dry. I've been using the True Botanicals Moisture Lock Overnight Mask. This is a mask that you can actually put on before you go to bed, but you can also wear it during the day, which has been kind of great for me because I probably wouldn't wear this with my makeup, but a lot of these days have been no makeup days for me and quarantine, so I've been wearing the moisture mask during the day as well, which is totally fine. This mask is deeply hydrating. It's rich in mango butter and squalene, which is a really good ingredient for pumping your skin with hydration. It's really great for putting so much moisture in your face that it plumps the fine lines and it gives you that really nice glow. Another product that I found to be really interesting from True Botanicals is their vitamin C booster. So this vitamin C is actually in a powder form. If you're asking yourself why is it in a powder opposed to being a serum, vitamin C is actually one of the hardest things to retain stability with because of its ingredients. So the powder form makes it so that it holds its sustainability a lot longer. So all you have to do is take one to two shakes of this into your hand with water product, right? So not oil. I put it in the overnight mask. I put one to two shakes of it in my hands with the mask and I just apply it all over my face. Or you could even use it in your serum if you want your moisturizer, your nighttime moisturizer, that kind of thing. What the vitamin C does, it visibly brightens your skin, especially when you have hyperpigmentation, which for me during my pregnancy, I've noticed if I try to pop any pimple, it leaves a mark. So I currently have a mark on my forehead that I like attach my forehead. So you wanna make sure to concentrate. Like I really concentrate the vitamin C in that area. It's very important. For me, whether I'm pregnant or not, vitamin C is a staple in my skincare routine because it just boosts the integrity of your overall skin, which is gonna help combat fine lines. It just brightens keeps any spots at bay. So I've always loved using a good vitamin C. And then of course, we have an oil. This is the Pure Radiance Oil. I'm a huge oil fan. I love oils. You'll see the body oils and all the oils and all the things that I have here. But this is like actually a very different oil for me because mostly, and, and by all skincare rules, oil is meant to be put on your skin as the last step because traditionally nothing can break the barrier of the oil afterwards so you always want to put oils on last but with this particular oil you want to put it on before your serums before your moisturizers they have many different versions of this oil on their site they have one for acne they have one for anti-aging i've been using the one for calming what I really like about this is that it heals inflammation and also redness. Redness for me is something I've noticed has popped a little bit more during my pregnancy. So the Calm Oil, which I have, is actually really good for anyone that has really sensitive skin or again, anyone who is pregnant. It just is gonna be the one that you want. Let me just show you guys this oil. And it has just like a calming scent. It just looks so good. So I just douse this all over my skin at night. I'm basically like a little seal. I'm a little seal. And you can also use this on your belly. They also have a bigger version of a body oil that you could use on your belly, which looks like this. But I just use this on my face and neck and it is amazing. Really, really helps promote moisture. All of these products for me are like moisture based because that's what I needed. If your skin is getting congested during pregnancy and you are getting a breakout, this is a really good mask. Sometimes I'll even spot treat the congested areas because I don't 
typically put mask everywhere if I don't need it. I always like to kind of target where I need it. So this is the Pacific Glacial Clay Detoxifying Mask. So even though this is a clay mask, which sometimes when you think of clay, you think that it's gonna dry out your skin because you think it's gonna dry out all your breakouts, but this pulls out impurities of your skin without actually taking away the moisture or drying out your skin. So this is something I pop on. If I have like congestion, I'll pop it on for like 20 minutes and then I rinse it off and it works really, really great and it's still safe. So since we're talking about skin, let's move on to our body and what I've been using for my belly, my boobs, stretch marks, things like that. I have a few things here, but I'll tell you guys what I've mostly been sticking to. When I first found out I was pregnant, Melissa Molerano, shout out to her, she's such an angel. She, I texted her and asked her what she uses and she told me these two products that she used with her pregnancy and they worked really well for her. But she didn't just tell me. This was the night before I was leaving to Morocco and she had like a backup stash of the products and she Ubered them to me because I couldn't order on time on Amazon. It was the nicest thing ever. So sweet and thoughtful. So this is what she recommended to me. The, just this family size gold bond ultimate healing lotion. And the reason that we use this is because this is really what she recommended to me. And this is Kate Blanc Cosmetics Vitamin E Oil. Um, so this is just like a pure vitamin E oil and you take a few drops of this. It's very, very thick. So because it's so thick, it's hard to blend in. So we dilute it with a little bit of this. So I'll put like three pumps of this moisturizer in my palm and then I'll put all the pumps of this vitamin E directly onto like any stretch marks I have on my boobs or like anywhere that I feel like is gonna get stretch marks, my belly, especially like my belly button area, the midsection, and then I just work it all in. I haven't gotten stretch marks yet. I've been using this since the beginning. However, I do know like from my friends telling me in the past that their stretch marks really kicked in like third trimester. I don't think I'm gonna fully escape stretch marks because my mom had them, it's hereditary. You can only do so much, but Helping yourself stay hydrated is, you know, gonna help make them less, at least that's what I hope. Another product that I went through and I actually finished a tub of this, this is the Burt's Bees Mama Bee Belly Butter. I liked it, but I just, again, like I like to feel extra greased up when I go to bed. I don't know, that's just my feeling. So I like this, but if you're in a rush and you just gotta like moisturize really quick and get out the door, this is not the cream for you. Just saying, it's very white for a long time, like the lotion takes forever. But that's also a good thing because massaging the areas actually is better for you as far as stretch mark goes. So I have another one here. I'll use it from time to time, but I'll always mix the vitamin E oil with it. Um, so really I like keep this vitamin E oil on deck. I've already gone through two of those, I believe. So here's another belly product that I use. I've actually started using this um, recently. So as you can see, there's not much missing from the top. I just ordered this. And the reason I ordered this is because I heard that almond oil is really, really good for stretch marks. And what you wanna do with this, I watched a video with these doctors talking about it, is really massage the olive oil I mean all of the oil into your skin, massage the belly area, anywhere that you feel like you're growing, stretching, make sure you really, really work it in. And the massaging is actually what really helps promote less stretch marks, but almond oil is also very good for that. So if you wanna try an oil, almond oil. That's what the doctor said and I said, I'm ordering that ASAP. Let me narrow it down for you. Definitely, I use this and I've been using this since I found out I was pregnant. Now I've recently added this, but I use them all together. So I put this on and then um, once it really absorbs, sometimes I'll hit up this almond oil right before I go to sleep. I will sit there laying in bed, like watching TV and like massage my belly, massage my belly, massage like the boob area where I feel like I'm getting stretch marks and just like really work it into the skin as I'm laying there. And then I always sleep with a bra and a t-shirt so that it locks in all the moisture and I don't get it all over my bed. Those are my items. Okay, more body care. Two things that I have noticed during pregnancy is discomfort, whether that's like aches and pains in my body, my back, my legs, my hips, like my pelvic bone areas. And then you start to get restless leg syndrome. So your legs are just restless at night and it's really um, annoying. This product in particular, I've been loving. This is the peppermint sugar scrub. And this is handmade by women and it's from the little market. I love this stuff. I actually got this approved by my doctor. He said it was totally okay that I use it as of now. 
So I know like peppermint is also a tricky oil that you shouldn't really use too much of during pregnancy and you shouldn't in ingest it from what I've read. But um, again, I always clear everything with my doctor. I'm like, is this okay for me? And he says yes or no, <laughs> it's not. But he said that this was totally fine and I am obsessed with this. Like I don't know if I'll use it in my third trimester or not. Oh. When I tell you the peppermint that radiates off of this is real, it's so good. It's not like one of those scrubs where it just smells a little like peppermint and that's it. No, this penetrates. I had a really, really bad pain in my calf area and my knee area for like a whole week. I was in a lot of pain. And so what I would do is I'd soak in the tub and I would scrub this peppermint all over the areas that hurt. Sit, let it sit for a little bit and then rinse it. And when you get out, the cooling of the peppermint completely would distract the pain. Like I didn't feel anything anymore. Do not get this in your private parts. Do not get this on your nipples and do not put this on your under armpits, okay? I've accidentally got them in all of those. So I can tell you from experience, it's not a pleasant feeling in those areas. It was like residual, cause like I had put it somewhere and then it like dripped down into the other areas and it wasn't good. So do not get peppermint in here. But this stuff is so great. Like I slept so good. It smells amazing. It's just like, you can tell there's a high dosage of peppermint in there. I will definitely ask my doctor again when I enter the third trimester if I could still continue to use this. But as of now being in my second trimester, it, it was cleared. So I said, okay. This next product is new. This is something my mom just ordered for me and restless legs, back aches, all natural. This is a magnesium therapy, ultra pure magnesium oil. It's a magnesium lotion. This stuff is legit. So I've been getting back aches, right? Cause my boobies are like really making me hunch over. And my mom, she was like, I got you this cream. Let me put it on your back. Instantly the pain was gone. Like, like this. Last night, my legs were really restless. Steven rubbed this on my legs, gone. Pain gone, I was asleep. I had no problem sleeping at all. It was so incredible. This has been like one of the best things that I've only had it for like a week and I've been in love with this. Rub it in real quick, boom, pain gone. It has like a really, uh, it smells like a spa. It smells really nice, great product. I, this is just like must have for me. I'm, I'm like so thankful that my mom found that. Okay, so one thing I've gotten during pregnancy is my thighs have chafed a lot. And I've actually found um, pregnancy leggings that you can wear for chafings, but particularly, which I haven't ordered yet, but I did, I did get an ad on Instagram. I've been getting got by ads. Like they know I'm pregnant and they're letting me know, they know. And I talked about chafing one time and there you go, I got this ad for like, these chafing leggings or like these little biker shorts. Cuter than that is Steven actually just got me this. This I can't say is a favorite yet, but I had to include it in the video. I'm gonna still try it out, but I thought it was cute, so I wanted to include it. This is a Body Glide You Got This anti-chafe bomb. Steven literally came up to me, he's like, I got you something today. <laughs> and he handed it to me and I'm like, anti-chafe bomb. <laughs> I thought it was very, very sweet of him, but also it's funny because this is like the romance here is the chafe bomb. Have I tried it yet? I have not because he just gave it to me yesterday, but I just wanted to include that. So again, just making sure you guys know, not a favorite yet, but I wanted to include that Steven got me this and I'm gonna start using it. And if you do have any recommendations for thigh chafing, let me know because what I have been using, this is what I've been using, cornstarch. My mom gave me cornstarch. So she told me, she's like, just put a little cornstarch where the thighs are chafing, it'll be fine. Totally works. We got some HelloFresh cornstarch in the house. Anyone chafing at home? You don't have a bomb that your husband so gracefully gifts to you. Then just use some cornstarch. Thanks HelloFresh for this cornstarch. That's where it's at. So if you have cornstarch at home, just use that. Next, we have Tums. These are the chewable bites. I like these better than the little tablets because they're not as chalky. These are just like these little chewable ones. If you get acid reflux, I don't take these often, nor should you take a lot often, but you know, I'll take it like once a day. You know, read the directions, talk to your doctor. I'm not gonna tell you how much you're allowed to take because I don't wanna say the wrong thing. And a lot of people asked about my prenatal vitamin. So I just use Nature Made. This is the one I've been using and it's the Multi Plus DHA. My doctor always says, make sure that it has that in your vitamin, DHA. 
Um, that's very important because I got another prenatal that did not have that. I just use these. I've already gone through a bunch of bottles because I had to take these during my fertility treatments as well. So I've been taking prenatals for a long time. Next, we have a few items, undergarments. Undergarments are very important for me during pregnancy. I found that my Victoria's Secret thongs, just they don't cut it anymore for me, okay? Which they did for many years, but not very comfortable when you're pregnant. And so I just found the plug. And I'm sure a lot of you have found these underwear before, but this is like a new find for me and they're from Target. These seamless underwear right here have been amazing. They're from the brand A-U-D-E-N. I get a size medium. They feel so amazing. Like I can't even feel them. I wear them with really tight dresses, like those naked wardrobe dresses that I wear, um, where it's like they're very tight and people are like, how do you wear underwear with that? I've been wearing these. And they're only $5 a pair, which is such a great deal. It's been so hard for me to find really great undies and these are amazing. Like I'm gonna wear these underwear forever now. These are my new go-to's. Went the other day and they were sold out. Hopefully they restock more, maybe you can get them online. So since getting pregnant, obviously my boobs have gotten bigger, 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 and I'm like, I'm, I'm uncomfortable if I don't sleep with the bra, but then bras are also very uncomfortable to sleep in for me, so I had to find the perfect bra. And this one is a great sleeping bra. This is from Harper Wild. It kind of has like a, a sports bra-ish vibe, but very nice material, not as tight as a sports bra. This is what it looks like. This is a size large, <laughs> wear a size large. I started with mediums in the beginning and now I'm, I've upgraded here. But the material on these are so cozy. You can wear them under t-shirts, like really, really nice. I have one in black. Then I also have this nude color and this is a great nude color for me. As you can see, my oils have gotten all over the bras. And I don't really mind the oil stain because there's nothing I can do about it. Like I wanna take care of my skin and these are the most comfortable bras. So maybe if that's something that bothers you, just order black for your sleeping ones. That's what I should have done. I should have just only slept in the black ones. If you do order these Harper Wild bras, and these are very comfortable if you're pregnant and not, they're not pregnancy bras. So if you're just looking for something comfortable to sleep in or to wear under t-shirts, these are really great. Man, those don't, you don't feel anything. Like I don't like to feel like something is constricting me, especially the band around the waist. That's very important comfort. And those feel really, really good. So that's pretty much the only bra I've had up until a couple weeks ago. And I needed a bra that had a thinner strap because as you can see, these have a lot more coverage and a thicker strap. I needed something with a thinner strap with a little less coverage that was still comfortable yet supportive. Very hard for me to find. <laughs> these are from Commando and Commando makes very, very cozy bra tops. Again, there's no wire. You don't wanna have a wire. The band is very comfortable. The fabric is very comfortable comfortable and it gives you a good amount of cleavage. I'm wearing one under my hoodie now and their nude color, look how great this nude color is for my skin tone. They have different nude colors and I love, 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 love the tone. And I find that I get really great support with these. It has adjustable straps. It's cozy. I can wear it with like lower cut tops. And when I first ordered it, I was like, damn, is this gonna be big enough, this waist part? But it has such a good stretch and it doesn't feel constricting. Finding good undergarments during this time has been very important for me. So those are the two bras that I've been using. Don't use any other ones. And now those are my favorite underwear of all time. Moving on. All right, since we're on the topic of clothing, these are some of the pieces that I've been using. Naked Wardrobe sent me some stuff when I when they first found out I was pregnant and I was so thankful because I did not have any pregnancy maternity clothes at all. These are their biker shorts, but they are from their baby mama collection. So all of this stuff is specifically for their collection and what I found with their stuff is they have such great basics and you can wear them different ways. And so that's what I've been doing. I've primarily just been wearing this. These are their biker shorts, really, really nice waistband, covers the belly, it's very soft material. So the one I'm wearing is like a full biker short, one piece tank top, but I like to put a hoodie over it and I just kind of like lounge around the house in this. It's very comfortable. And they also have baby mama collection body suits. So bodysuits, we all know, can be very uncomfortable. Even if you're not pregnant, that shit is painful sometimes. So their Baby Mama Collection bodysuits are comfortable. I have tested, worn them, completely love them, made for your pregnant bodies. This is what I'm wearing right now, but it's in black. So if you can see, it's a one-piece 
Maybe you just wear this with a jean jacket, which I've done, like a big boyfriend fit denim. So many different ways you can wear it. It's just really cozy. And I like that it forms your belly really cute. Like it supports, it tucks you in. And then lastly, these are from Kindred Bravely and they are um, workout pants. Look at this waistband for your belly. They are just so comfortable and I've been just trying to squeeze into my old workout clothes. Like I had some mediums and those are okay, but wearing these, I felt so much support in my belly. You don't even have to work out in them, just wear them on your errands and stuff like that. Like, let's face it, a lot of us wear workout pants we don't work out in, but they're just comfortable to run errands in. So I recommend these. I recently just ordered my first pair of pregnancy jeans, which I haven't gotten yet. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I do want to do a whole separate video of like pregnancy fashion. These are just staples, like things that you can dress so many different ways. And if you're pregnant right now and you're looking for something that's cute and easy to throw on, these are the kinds of things I recommend. All right, lastly, I have my pregnancy pillow. Very, very important to have a pregnancy pillow. Like, I cannot sleep without it. I'm obsessed with it. Um, there's many different pregnancy pillows on the market. This is just the one Steven ordered for me. He's very sweet. Like, I'm not sure what kind of research he did on it, but he knew I wasn't sleeping well, and he got this pregnancy pillow for me. I have two now. So my little brother got me one, which was so sweet. And I use that one downstairs, like in the couches, if I'm lounging for when I'm laying, cause it's only like the half of a horseshoe one. So it's really nice and easy to move around. But the, the one that Steven got me is like a full fortress. I'm gonna show it to you right now. And it is like this big boy. I will insert a better picture in here because it's really hard for me to hold that up. What's important to note about this pregnancy pillow from Overstock, you can buy pillowcases, I'm sure for these things, but the way it came, it like had a case on it, but I didn't love the material. I don't know, it was too rough for me. So my mom made me a pillowcase. What I think is an old sheet. She knew that I liked the feeling of like the sheets, that cooling feeling instead of anything too rough or too hot. So she sat there all day and I heard her in the room like sewing away <laughs> and she sewed a pillowcase on it for me and it's so sweet. I will link it down below and you can check it out and see if there's like different pillowcases that you can order, which I'm sure there is. That is it. These are all the products that I have been using, loving during my pregnancy so far. There's so many other things out there that I'm gonna start needing. These are all the things that as of now have worked really well for me. If you have any recommendations for me or anyone else, in the comments down below. Make sure you leave them so we can all just like help each other out. That would be awesome. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Whew, I'm out of breath. I swear. Mm. Sorry, I'm having like some acid reflux right now. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Food makes me dance now. Do I have breadcrumbs on my lips? I spilled oil here as well. Be careful with that almond oil, shit will get you. If you have acid reflux, reflux. <sighs> Am I about to have it right now?